ओम शांति द सेवेंटी सेवेंथ डे ऑफ योर ब्यूटिफुल मेडिटेटिव वरदान हियर वी टू टॉक अबाउट समथिंग विच बाबा टेल्स अस रिगार्डिंग हैप्पीनेस एंड पावर सी वी थिंक दैट वंस यू बिकम हैप्पी विल बिकम पावरफुल बट हैप्पीनेस कैन कम बाय गिविंग समबडी समथिंग बट इफ वी आर सेल्स डोंट हैव द पावर टू सस्टेन वॉट वी हैव अर्नड देन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी हैप्पी फॉर एवर वी वोट फील पावरफुल फॉर एवर सो बाबा explains us a method in which we stay happy also and we feel powerful also while giving and moving ahead in our life by doing seva doing service of many other souls providing them with the spiritual knowledge but at the same time becoming powerful within ourselves so let's understand what baba has to say over here Baba says, "May you triumph over obstacles and overcome them by imbibing happiness and power both." Let's get into the understanding part. So, Baba says, "The children who know how to accumulate become powerful. Accumulate means what? When we use it, when we use spiritual knowledge, we become powerful. When we invest money somewhere and it gives us return, we become powerful monetarily." just an example here to once we give we invest in somebody else with the spiritual knowledge and we also use it for ourselves to make ourselves mentally spiritually stronger that's the time we become powerful but if you don't use it you keep it with yourself you won't be happier you won't be powerful but if you use it only for yourself and not give to anybody else the happiness will go away you might feel powerful for some time but happiness won't last for long so baba says the children who know how to accumulate become powerful if you earn something one moment and immediately give it away it but do not accumulate any of it in yourself you then have no power left let's say you learn the vardhan yesterday in which we were talking about how to stop thinking about others so that we stop the increase of stress or tension in our mind regarding negativity regarding impurity about others but let's say i shared that with you the divine knowledge but i myself don't apply it in my life i might be happy while sharing it with you but the power won't remain in me when i face a situation the stress and the tension will increase in me even though i have given it to you you might be able to practice it you might start practicing it you might become more powerful in it so i shared it with god's grace with god's love with god's guidance but i became an instrument to share it and you imbibed it you are more powerful than me even more powerful than the one who shared it with you think about it it's very deep so then baba says you simply have the happiness of sharing or donating that's it but not the power as well as happiness you also need power and you will then easily be able to overcome obstacles and triumph over them that means i need to practice whatsoever i am preaching or sharing the more i practice how to remove stress tension and many other things which you have shared in this vardhan the more i'll be becoming powerful in my mind so there will be happiness and power to power of the mind so baba then says as well as happiness you also need power and you will then easily be able to overcome obstacles and triumph over them no obstacles will then create any disturbance in your love for whom for this knowledge for god for your own life which is such a beautiful spiritual life in this confluence age an age where the soul gets to meet or have a confluence with the supreme soul the supreme power then just as the sparkle of happiness is visible on your face that's what you have when you're sharing this knowledge so the sparkle of power will also be visible you'll feel powerful you won't be drained out you won't be feeling lost when a situation arises from a person or a thing or a substance or the universe or the weather just like the virus is coming now again you won't be disturbed or deterred from your own path of spirituality in remembrance of god i leave you with this beautiful vardhan think about it contemplate and that becomes your meditation om shanti